Amid tense relations between China and the UK, the British government is investigating ways to block China's state-owned nuclear energy company from all future power projects in the country. This move could see the China General Nuclear excluded from several projects, including a nuclear plant on the Suffolk coast in eastern England. UK government sources told the Financial Times that a decision to bar CGN could also impact another planned plant in Essex. This comes as the UK and China relationship remained strained over multiple issues, ranging from allegations of cyber attacks, human rights violations in Xinjiang and Hong Kong. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is under pressure from some within his own Conservative Party to be tougher on Beijing. This is not the first time that the UK has banned a Chinese company. London had angered Beijing last year by banning Chinese telecoms group Huawei from getting involved in its 5G network due to spying fears. Meanwhile, China called on the UK to provide an open, fair and non-discriminatory environment for Chinese companies. Hui CGN is already working alongside France's EDF in the construction of a nuclear power plant at Hinkley Point in southwest England due to be completed in 2025. The pair is also awaiting formal approval for a new plant on the Suffolk coast, with CGN being a minority partner in both the ventures. If Britain decides to block its future involvement, this would impact Britain's nuclear sector since CGN planned investments in the UK totaled billions of pounds and would provide thousands of jobs. Our London Bureau Chief Mandy Clark sent us this report. Take a look. Home Secretary Priti Patel says the government will crack down on crime with GPS and alcohol tags for offenders. Now, the scheme is part of Prime Minister Boris Johnson's beating crime plan that will also see more criminals tagged on release from jail to track movements. Now, the plan will see GPS tracking extended to cover half the country's police forces. The government says tracking the movements of freed criminals will help deter and detect crimes. The way it works is that it will monitor a person to make sure they adhere to release conditions by trailing the released offender's movements, ensuring the person obeys to curfew requirements and goes to work or an education program and has not gone into an exclusion zone. And those are places where they're blocked from going. Now, the prime minister will announce a trial of alcohol monitoring tags as well which will check whether those guilty of alcohol-fueled crimes will stay off the booze. Now, these monitoring tags detect alcohol in sweat of the offenders. The move is to address the fact that alcohol plays a part in nearly 40% of all violent crimes. Now, critics say the plan is a mere gimmick that would do nothing to make the streets safer. Labour points out that the Tories cut the number of police by more than 20,000 after taking office in 2010. Mandy Clark, World is One, We On, London. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.